dividing mixed numbers. We do not divide mixed numbers. We must rewrite mixed numbers as improper fractions. And if you've forgotten how to do that, you can check out the presentation, Changing Mixed Numbers into Improper Fractions. But wait, we also do not divide improper fractions. If you've forgotten how to divide fractions, you can check out the presentation on dividing fractions. So what now? Well, let's walk through. Four and five eighths divided by three and one fourth. To change each mixed number to an improper fraction, so four and five eighths becomes thirty-seven eighths. Three and one fourth becomes thirteen fourths. So now we're set up where we're dividing improper fractions, but we don't divide fractions. We turn it into multiplication problem by flipping or inverting the second fraction. So it becomes 37 eighths times 4 thirteenths. Reduce if we can to simplify the multiplication process. Now we multiply straight across. And finally, we have to convert back to a mixed number. So the only reason why we went improper is so we could do the work. We started out with mixed numbers. We need to end with mixed numbers. Try this pair. Seven and one third divided by two and three fourths. We change to improper fractions. So we get twenty two thirds divided by eleven fourths. But again, we don't divide fractions. So we're going to invert or flip the second fraction to turn it into a multiplication problem. Reduce if we can before multiplying. Anything else? And now we multiply. And then finally, convert back to a mixed number. Try this one. Two, nine and two sevenths divided by one and one fourteenth. Again, we convert to improper fractions. 9 and 2 sevenths become 65 sevenths. 1 and 1 fourteenths becomes 15 fourteenths. We turn the problem from a division problem to multiplication by flipping the second fraction. Looking for things to simplify. Anything else? Oh, there's one more. So now we multiply, and then we convert back to improper. 